services with the OneNote app that's available for Windows 10 and the kind of older version OneNote 2016. They look a little bit different so I just want to focus on a little bit some of the things that are different between the two. Uh, if we look at the old version of OneNote, this is OneNote 2016, uh, none of the new features that Microsoft are developing are going into this notebook but it's, it still works, this version of OneNote and this is the one that's tried and tested and true and most people know. So if, you, if you're just looking at the navigation you can see that you've got uh, your sections along the top here, you've got your notebooks down the left hand side, sections along the top and then pages down the right hand side. So just that basic navigation is a little bit different in the new version. You've got your notebooks down the left hand side over here, you've then got sections and then pages. I think that kind of makes more sense to have it going from left to right, going across like that. Uh, if I then select one of the pages it opens up and if I go full screen as well then I can I've got a lot more space to work in there. You'll notice that up the top here uh, that I've got more space compared to, if I go back to the 2016 version, the uh, toolbar does take a lot more space uh, looking at all of the different things there. So if you're familiar with Word and PowerPoint, you'll be familiar with this kind of menu that we're seeing here in OneNote. In the new version, in the OneNote app, you can see it's much more stripped down. It's a little bit... Uh, I think easier to use and easier to see uh, what it is that you're doing. You can see the dictate option is built right in here uh, into the OneNote app over in the Office 2016 version in that home key I can't see dictate here I'd have to find it somewhere else so I think it's just easier to find for some things. So this is another interesting thing is it's asking me to install the latest version of the class notebook and so that is the um, one of the key differences in these two things is that if I want to update this app here, I will have to download a separate version, download the uh, the separate version of uh, OneNote, in this case the Class Notebook add-in, whereas in the app version it will download and update automatically for me in the background. So new features are being pushed into this new version of OneNote all of the time. We don't have to wait around for them and download them. If I look at the insert space here in Office uh, 2016 version, it's a little bit more complicated there's a lot more stuff going on here if I look for example at the stickers over here on the right hand side I get a separate window uh, that opens up if I look at the insert menu here and I want to look at stickers you see you get a separate pane that opens up on the the right hand side here uh, there's more stickers available over here in the app version of OneNote compared to the 2016 version so uh, research, which I think is a great tool, just opens up directly into here. I can do my research in OneNote directly in the right hand side here and I can still go back to the main page if I want to, but the, the uh, windows come in from the side there as well. Looking at the draw features in Office 2016 version, I've got a lot of things going on here. In the app version, if I look at the draw features, it's a little bit more streamlined so if I just add a page here so you can have a look at some of these uh, I get more uh, tools here so I can add pens, pencils or highlighters so I can kind of customize it and I do get some other options of different style pens here that aren't evasion in the, available in the Office 2016 version so um, these pens and pencil options are actually really nice and you can see I've got a nice way to change the color to uh, change the thickness and style of the pen as well. So the maths features here are ph phenomenally good in uh, the app version here. So I can write an equation like this, just lasso it, hit maths over here and Or something. So you've got some maths tools here in the uh, OneNote version that you don't have in the Office 2016 version. 
Again, in view, I think it's a lot cleaner. Immersive Reader is built in here really nicely into the, uh, the app version. Uh, it works really cleanly. One of the great things here is that I'm able to replay any of the things that I write on the page. So if I just hit the replay button, just drag over that section of the page, what it does is replay uh, my writing on that page and I can slow down and pause at any time as well. So you could have a whole page, not only a maths equation, imagine if you were drawing something in art, if you're explaining a concept, uh, any, there's a, an amazing variety of things that you could do with this um, little replay function here that's available within the app. Just about all of the class notebook features are here. It's um, these ones here. It's a little bit hard to see what it what it is. These ones here. If you hover over, you can see what they are. Um, it's, I think you have the text in the old app there, but um, it's a little easy to see. But reviewing student work again, I think it works a little bit nicer. Uh, the t the window pops up from the side rather than being a separate window. Over there, you can distribute distribute new sections or distribute pages just like you can in Office 2016. In the class no notebook tab over here in Office 2016, you've got this section that says distribute content library. So that's missing so far, but I think all of these features will eventually find their way into the app version. So this is great at the start of a year if you're wanting to uh, transfer your whole content library across to a new OneNote file, that's really handy. But basically all of the things, um, you don't need a learning tools tab in the the app version, all of this stuff is built in to the different part, the Immersive Ready was built in. So I think really to, to summarize it is, is, is this page here, which I'll show you, um, is with the app version, you're getting better battery life. I think it's simpler and easier to use. Students who start off on the app really like it. It starts up faster. There's some uh, Office Lens integration, which is fantastic. You don't need to use the Office Lens app. You can just use your camera to take a photo and in the app that will automatically convert any text into uh, editable text. You can saw the uh, fancy pens and pencils. Uh, it's much faster. I think that's the, that's, the, um, that's the key term there in terms of its syncing as well. It syncs really fast, so rather than a few seconds delay when I've been using this with students, it's straight away. So you saw some of the other things there that um, I pointed out. So yeah, this is just a quick rundown on the differences I can see between the Office 2016 version and the new uh, OneNote for Microsoft 10 app version.